Dan Kitwood, Get Images a Visual Representation of the Digital Cryptocurrency, Bitcoin on October 24, 2017 in London, England. Bitcoin surged to yet another new record high on Monday, breaking a record set during the Thanksgiving weekend stateside. The cryptocurrency jumped to an all-time high of $9,671.84 hours after cracking the $9,400 level on Sunday, according to industry site Coindesk. It later paired some gains to trade at $9,631.21 at 10 a.m. HK slash sin, rising some 3.27% on the day. The move appears to be retail-driven, said Brian Kelly, a CNBC contributor and CEO of BKCM, which runs a digital asset strategy. The largest Bitcoin exchange in the U.S., Coinbase, added about 100,000 accounts between Wednesday and Friday just around Thursday's Thanksgiving holiday, to a total of 13.1 million. That's according to public data available on Coinbase's website and historical records compiled by Alistair Milne, co-founder and chief investment officer of Altana Digital Currency Fund. Coinbase had about 4.9 million users last November, Milne's data showed. The surge in interest also comes on the back of CME's announcement that it will list Bitcoin futures in the second week of December. The launch of a derivatives product for the digital currency will mark another step in establishing Bitcoin as a legitimate asset class. Still, with the digital currency having risen by some 869% year to date, plenty have taken to pointing out the potential pitfalls of what they see as a price bubble. JP Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon in October warned that those stupid enough to buy Bitcoin will ultimately pay the price for it. He added that he did not comprehend the value of currencies that were not backed by a government and that, t the only value of Bitcoin is what the other guy pay for it. Still, many others have offered a more moderate assessment for Bitcoin and its ascent. Called Yunal Mubarak, the head of Abu Dhabi's Mubadala investment company, said people ought to be open-minded when looking at the digital currency. More recently, a poll among chief financial officers on CNBC's Global CFO Council showed 27.9% of 43 respondents thought Bitcoin was real but in a bubble while 27.9% thought the cryptocurrency was a fraud. Just 14% of the executives said Bitcoin was real and going higher. CNBC's Arjun